What's up guys, it's Mike here with Grow Indoors 365, but today I am taking this outside. It's interesting how my perspective changed from inside to the outside as I started to grow this little outside situation and unfortunately I'm having a tough time. Now inside I do have a few new things cooking. I have some F1 basil. It's going to be gorgeous and I'm really excited to, uh, you know, try it out and get munching on it and I got some um, I think the again the uh, the Rosa uh, butter lettuce and I'm gonna have a couple of variations of lettuce but I, I really started to get get it cooking again but it's just there's something about having this stuff outside I'm just not loving I'm not loving the fact that it's so exposed to environmental and and the, the outside elements it's just I don't know it's just not working for me, but I mean, look at this huge tomato I got. I mean, this thing is doing nice. It's like the only one that pollinated from this plant. Now, I don't know if it's the plant. I don't know if it's the soil. But something is telling me the way that a lot of these leaves are, there's some sort of deficiency. Now, down in the comments below, please let me know if you guys have started... You know, have you if you guys have been growing outside on your own let me know what's going on let me know if uh, you've had success but I mean like alright so that's doing awesome we'll see what happens with that thing and then I got this pepper right here look at this thing that thing is very cool too I'm almost like scared to eat these and I don't know why but and these are looking good too look at this guy I just hate all these things crawling around on here and it's so sad that I can't grow these peppers inside. You, I think you just need a lot more space and there's just a lot more care that's required in the situation. But, you know, when I'm seeing these things develop and if I could have free peppers like year round and consistently, if I could like harvest, you know, four peppers a week, I am stoked. I mean, like, you know, I have one every day. I mean, I could, I could take down so many peppers i love peppers i'm buying the little sweet peppers by the by the huge bags and I, that's a huge part of my diet i love those things and they're so delicious but yeah i mean i'm kind of saddened honestly and it's like, it's like weird you got like little little bugs that have that have developed webs on some of the stuff and god knows what it's you know unfortunately it's doing to these plants you know it doesn't seem like it's causing too much crazy harm but Listen, in a couple of months when this is all over, I know summer just started basically, but when this is all over, we're going back to uh, straight up growing indoors 365. Uh, I'm going to have to step it up. I don't know how, but I'm going to have to do something. But as of right now, everything that I'm seeing, I'm just like not so happy with it. Come on, focus for us. I just want to show you guys this pepper. Hope you guys are enjoying your uh, week. We're going into... It's a weird day for the 4th of July weekend right now. That's unfortunate. It's on a Wednesday. Sorry that this can't focus, but this little pepper's doing good. Now this plant's got this... What are these? These are the Gypsy Sweet Peppers. I mean, like, no joke. Like, this one's, like, basically ready to rock... Basically ready to eat, I think. I don't know. Probably not. Got another little green guy right there. But it's interesting. It's coming out really dark green, and this one's, like, yellow green. I'm really unfortunately i'm thinking like wow like what really went wrong here number one i'm not seeing a lot of bees around my area so that's a huge issue you know i mean i'm over in south uh south jersey and just around my area i'm just not seeing a ton of bees and i think that's one of the issues in regards to pollination but as you guys could see i got some of these yellow leaves are spotted a lot of these are just completely kind of dried out let me see if we could focus in here Give me a little bit of focus here. Nope, unfortunately the camera does not want to focus for you guys. Um, but basically these things are just tried out. And uh, I'm not sure how to help this plan out. And I'm not sure if, if, it's, if, it's, if it's too late. You know, I got this one tomato hanging on by its life. It's super green and it looks, it looks fairly healthy. Um, if you guys know, I mean I heard of like putting eggshells in there into the... Uh, into the soil it's so interesting the comparison that you know mentally that i'm having in regards to having this setup but these are totally different plants in comparison when i'm growing indoor but you have to have these giant buckets i can only grow two plants at once the dirt is like super messy it's super grimy i mean you have to water it 
inside you just have flat reservoirs and the plants grow beautifully you could see the roots and you could actually feed them that's the one i guess negative that you have to manually feed them well in my situation of course you could buy certain reservoirs that that expel your uh your feed mixture directly into the reservoir water and it'll feed the plant directly from the root and that's fantastic but i don't know i mean this is just so much this is just so much going on humongous humongous bucket tons of dirt you gotta like fill it dump the dirt it's messy man i'm telling you but this is really all i got for you guys i just want to say hi i know i haven't been up uh, updating and uploading that much but this is just a quick update on what's going on just wanted to show you this little tomato guy right there a little pepper right there and a couple of small ones that i have right here and that's really i mean the cucumbers are just not working out at all i have no idea what's up with these guys but unfortunately this is what it is um you know i was so stoked about getting an outdoor grow but it's a lot more you know i just it's just like so it's getting so hot out number one and number two it's just way more annoying to have to come out here in the yard have to consistently treat this and have to consistently work with this and it's unfortunate that these type of vegetables you know they have a harder time growing indoors i mean you could manually pollinate but that's just super super hard <sighs> all right guys well i'm gonna cut it short here um it's thursday and we're going into the weekend i hope you all have a fantastic weekend and hopefully i'll fill you guys in on uh what i got cooking probably next week towards the end maybe i'll do a longer video and uh i'll start you know discussing on how i'm uh you know taking the current seeds and putting them into rock wools and and going from there because i got a couple of things that are brewing so i'm pretty pretty excited for a new grow on the in on the on the indoor tent that's it guys it's mike with grow indoors 365 make sure to give me the thumbs up if you're actually wanting to learn how to grow indoors all the links are right down below in the video hit those buttons check it out also i got some uh, a ton of images that i've been putting up on growindoors365.com so um, i got a couple posts on there so if you know anybody that's uh looking to uh start growing feel free to uh, go to you know direct them down to uh, growindoors365 and check that out all right guys thank you so much make sure to subscribe see you guys soon